Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Hi, my name is Paris. I'm calling from California. Oh, oh wait doing, a Paris? minute. Is this Paris Milan? Yes, it is. Hey, oh, Paris. my God. I'm going to start fanboying over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Please don't. <laughs> I feel this the pressure sister, already. Man. Oh, my God. This sister is absolutely gorgeous. And she's a beautiful hey, person. Sister. Hey, sister, how you doing? I'm well. Uh, where are you guys located? And thank you so much for the, the, the lovely compliment. I so appreciate it. Like, I'm just honored to even be, like, you know, talking on this station right now. Uh, you guys sound like you're from New York. Yep. Yeah, we're born or the raised, east. from New York. Born and raised oh, in okay, New York. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I've been listening to this station. Um, I was ten minutes late because I I didn't. Um, my email's not like automatically refreshed, but you know I was informed about the station. But um, what I was listening to earlier was one of you guys talking about lavish or Diamond Reynolds. I'm not sure who was talking about her and her strength. That was that was me. Uh, what is your name? Uh, Dev. Dev. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that because it's just like, uh, like, you want to feel so, like, first of all, I feel so much sympathy for the victim, like, um, you know, Philando, but it's like when their family members get into the media, they just kind of, for me, I feel like they help to contribute to their family member not receiving justice because they are trying to appease these racist so much that they like slip up and say certain things like, well, I don't think there was race involved or all lives matter. And my thing is like, if all lives matter, he wouldn't be dead right now. And that's exactly what um, Lavish was saying, you know, when she got in front of the cameras and all that with the crying, it's just, it just makes me, it makes it hard for me to have any sympathy for her whatsoever, because I'm just like, girl, why, why do we do this every time we become you know, apologists, we're, we're forgiving, we start to sympathize, and it, you know, it, it's, re- it's really, really frustrating. So that, that's just all I wanted to say. My, my, oh, my, I, well, I the, agree with him. To answer, I agree with you. Yeah, so my answer the question is, it's what they program into you to say for them to make it beneficial for them. That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like they, 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 they've done it to, to um, Alton's son. They have him out here saying, oh, we, we need to be peaceful with all this. No, the hell we don't. We need right. enough people need to die that need to die behind this because of that one death, because we're sick and tired of it. There's no such thing as peace with them, so why the hell should we be peaceful? If you come right. to my house with a gun and I'm talking and, I, and all I have to you is my voice, why the hell should I be peaceful? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You approach me with a gun. So I'm supposed to be peaceful because you got the gun and I ain't got one. No, if I got a gun and you got a gun now, we got a choice to make. I'm going to kill you or you're going to kill me. So you don't want to die and I don't want to die. So what can we do from here? We at this stalemate now. That's the only time that you'll see peace when that stalemate comes. They ain't offering us a stalemate right now. So we're going to force them to make a stalemate or they're going to die in the process. That's it. That's it. That's simple. That's what peace is. Peace is a stalemate where it doesn't benefit either party to go any further with aggression. Then you have a stalemate. That's what people call peace. It's not a principle because you can't, if you have peace as a principle, what are you going to do when it's time for war? Exactly. Hmm. You're going to be handcuffed emotionally and ideologically. But I want to ask you all a question. Both of you. Um, under what circumstance are the police not justified in killing us? According to the people who always take the side of the police, there must be one case where you said, damn, that police was wrong in that case. 
we're unarmed. Well, when you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, we, I, I want to ask you: is this, is this rhetorical question? Because we'll never get that answer. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it is kind of a rhetorical question. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I figured. That because there ain't no way in hell we are gonna get that answer. Uh, the, 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 oh my God, we could be we'll be answering that forever. Please, I could point out a thousand different situations. What about you, Paris? On the oh, question regarding when it when is it? Sorry, I I, I had the mute um, button on. Oh, but okay. um, the question regarding um, when is the the police killings ever not justified? When is it just? Yeah, when is it not justified? No. According to the people who always take the side of the police, because you have people, black folks, who have had no weapon. You have black mm-hmm. folks sitting with their family. It's like. Black folks jaywalking or the busted taillight. Like, under what circumstance would you go, nah, you know what, that was kind of messed up. They shouldn't have killed them. It seems like there's no circumstance in which we are, just, we are justified. Yeah, I mean, I agree wholeheartedly. Like, the only way it's not justified is if you're not black. Um, we see it time go. and time again, and it's just, like, every single time. Like, you can have your back turned, like, hopscotching and jump roping and they'll shoot you in your back and they're like well you know what they pull out the statistics about you know black on black crime and why it's justified and i'm like what does that have to do with the facts at hand then they tell us to get over the past and then they like to bring up our criminal past so it's just like there is no circumstances you don't have obama backing us you really don't have any black politicians officials in power backing us, so it's just like a freaking purge. Like yeah. that's the reality of it all. And, and you know yeah. what, sister, you answered the question. You answered the question. Is the only time it's not justifiable when it's not a black person. When it's a white yep. person, hold up. You did what to that white person? Oh, your mm-hmm. ass is wrong for that. But as a black person, oh, hold up. Hey, hey, let's not just let's not rush the uh, what's what's the word to say? Let's not rush to Conclusion. judgment right now. Yeah, right. let's not rush the judgment right now. Let's let's just hear the whole situation out before we start saying he was wrong. And then when exactly. you hear the whole situation out, he still says he was wrong. Well, you know Trayvon Martin was uh, smoking weed in school. <laughs> <laughs> him smoking weed in school got to do with George Zimmerman gunning him down for walking in his own neighborhood. Yeah, okay. Right, and where and isn't there always a rush to judge, judgment when it comes to our criminality? Oh, no yeah, one ever stops and says, well, let's look at all the facts. Let's make sure that this person didn't rob this place. No, we're criminals right. by default. By right. default. By default. Because, I mean, um, what would be the reason them to run um, uh, Alton's, uh, Alton's uh, background to see what he's done or, 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 or Philandro's back, background to see what he's done unless you're already trying to find some reason to justify what you've done to him? That's the reason. We knew. Exactly. I knew more about them, their background, than I knew about them before the whole shit even got out there and something. And that's a damn shame. But America <laughs> is not against us. They're not against us. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck America. What's the name of the cop? <laughs> What's the name of the cop who killed them? Anybody know that? I don't know. You can anybody tell me? I feel uh, Orlando or Alton. Both killed. Um, both, both of them. them. Um, I just know the one who killed Philando. I think his name was Geronimo Yanez, Y A N E Z. Sounds. I understand now. Geronimo Yanez. Okay, thank you. I gotta get that, <laughs> num- that name. If you you are on, please get that number name information because I'm gonna get his whole background and put it out there for you. <laughs> Let's put his background out there. Oh, and by the way, y'all, that's sympathizing for those five cops that killed. Well, one of them was an advocate. Uh, pro pro uh, white supremacist. So think about that. Why you sitting there mourning when he was out here designing, raising his children to come kill your children? Remember that. And that's the mm. truth. They are creating an environment where, when you get pulled over by a policeman, you the first thing that goes to your mind is, I might die right now. And when you put people in a situation where they feel their life is in danger then people have to protect themselves. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to, yeah. like, if you pull me over, I'm going to automatically think that you are trying to kill me. And I would be justified in thinking that according to the statistics. You know? 
but they throw they throw statistics in and out depending upon their needs. When it when they want to go to statistics to justify their point, then the statistics mean something. When it comes to them and you judging their behavior, their past behavior, and their patterns, then all of a sudden the statistics go out the window. It means nothing. Because I remember when that guy got on CNN and he said that we should exterminate all white people because they are a problem on the planet Earth. Everybody lost their mind. Everybody lost their mind. But now you're going to turn around and use statistics to justify us being exterminated, and it's all good. No outrage, no nothing. Um, did you but guys anyway. hear about the Dylan Noble shooting? Is that the guy yep. at the courthouse? Uh, he's the white uh, guy that was killed by the police. That's at the courthouse? The white... No, 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 no. This, is, um, this occurred in Fresno, which I actually live about like an hour away from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he was, I think he was 19 and he was killed. And it's just funny to see the comments because they're like, oh, yes, yeah, definitely, you know, an execution style killing. Now, this is actually a killing where the police are in the wrong. And it's just like, why do wow. you guys do this? Yeah, I why? wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. Man, this is one of those You don't hear anything mis- about his criminal background being brought up. You don't hear any of that. And I'm not saying he deserves to die, but there is clearly an injustice. And I get tired of us even having to explain the obvious. They know what's going on, but the reality is they don't care. They don't have That's to care. It. They're paid to not care. That's it. That's it. And we need to start well, I appreciate valuing you guys letting me comment. Um, I didn't want to hold up anybody else's time. I'll just continue to listen. But I appreciate you guys letting me, you know, give my little two cents. And thank you, Mark, so much for all your support. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate thank you calling you. in. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Stay I'm strong, your biggest man. fan. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay strong, please. All right. Thank you. Take care. Peace. That was Paris Milan. You got it, yo, son. You, you, you seen her? No, I, I, I have. Yes, you seen her? I that posted a video guy. of. I, oh, she is so fine. I posted a video of her, and you told me what did she say in the video? You wasn't even paying attention that's to what the girl was that's saying. Her. That's her. Oh snap! Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> yo, you got me you had, right now, nigga. You, you, <laughs> You had to go listen a second time so you can make sure. What, I had to go listen to say? Exactly. Paris, don't do it. Paris, 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 please stop. 